Hello everyone and welcome to Forms Part 1. In this video, you will learn the difference between a report and a form. You will learn how to create measured items and you will also learn how to create a basic form. Let's talk about the differences between a report and a form. A report is a query of the database that prints information that already exists in the system. A form is a record item that captures data like grades. For example, an instructor signs off on a form grading a pilot that has completed a session. That data has been captured in the form and can be accessed in the Mint Web Assistant. Now, let's visit Joe, our future form builder. Joe's company is grading some of their pilots on their flying skills. He needs to set up some folders in the system for organization and create some record items to reflect the sections of the session that his pilots will be taking. After all that is set up, he can start creating a basic form that his instructors can fill out to grade the pilots. Here we are in the Mint Web Assistant. We're going to head over to Forms. And the first thing we're going to do in this video is create some folders for our forms. Now this is optional, but it does help with organization, and I'll show you in just a couple minutes why it can make your life a little easier down the road. So our first folder is going to be named Forms, and then we're going to make another folder for our measured items. We'll name that Forms Measured Items. Next step is we're going to create a record item in this folder. So our sample test today is going to be A320LOE. And then let's create some measured items. So our first record item for measured items will be pushback. And then we'll have before takeoff as one of the sections. Takeoff. And climb. Now that we have all of our measured items here, the next step is to create a grade scale for them. So this is where the folders come in handy. A grade scale can be made when you access the properties of each record item. So a grade scale in the Mint system looks like a property. So instead of editing each of these record item properties, we can just go to the folder, right click, go to properties, edit resource record item properties, and edit them all at once. So if we wanted to create a new property, we would create a new property set. And by do, we would create the property set here and then add elements to it like A, B, C, D, or 1 through 5. But we're going to use the AQP grade scale. So all we have to do is go over to Activate Properties, Activate it. We'll press Apply. And then a bit of customization here is you can create a default value. You would just click on this. You could set it to three or whatever you like. It's just something that should be noted, but I'm going to leave it blank. The next step is to obviously create a form. So we're going to link this form to the record item A320LOE. So here it is, A320LOE. We're going to make it published, and then we're going to add record items. The record items that we're going to add are our measured record items. Here we go. Just drag those over to selected record item. Press apply to save it. I'm going to head over to design. This is where you'll design the actual form that your instructors will sign off on. So this is what they're going to be looking at. So we're just going to try one of the measured items as is an example. So we're going to do pushback. And then I'm going to add some radio buttons. These are popular to use in the form. So we'll just name this one one, make it a little smaller. And I'm going to copy and paste so they look the same. That's just a little shortcut that makes things easier. I'm going to align them in a minute. OK, to align them, you just select them all and then align vertically to the center. There you go. They're a little unevenly spaced out, but that's okay for an example. So we're just gonna, this is the two, three, four, five. Now labeling them one, two, three, four, and five uh, does not make the system recognize them as one, two, three, four, and five. 
for your grade scale. So this is just a text to actually make the system recognize that you need to come down here to data, click on this little button. All right, and then from for pushback, our record item, we want this to be the grade scale. So this links it to the pushback measured item grade scale. And then you need to tell it which item in the grade scale it is. So this one's a one. This one's a two. And you can edit them all at once, though you have to do the item separately. So for example, Now they're all set for that grade scale, but you have to go in and do the items separately. So this is a three, four, and a five. And then the last thing I'm gonna do for our sample form, I'm just going to drag two labels up here, and these are going to be the names of the instructor and the pilot. So to do that, you come over here to text, click on the three little buttons, and we go to data source, then sign off for, that'll be your pilot or the person being graded. Come down here and click, whoop, click name. And over here we want sign off by. Okay, now your sample form is done. Press OK to save it. And then our next step is to actually go back to the main Mint page and assign this form to a resource so we can see how an instructor would grade it. So we'll come down here to our linked record item. Let's just drag one of our resources over. And then it'll pop up in the portal right over here. So we open the form. And there we go, we have the person we're signing off for, the person that is signing off, which you'll see McGowan, and you can grade them and push sign off. It should be noted that instructors will access this form through the web portal instead of going through the web assistant as we did in this video and as someone who is creating the form would. This has been Forms Part 1. Thanks for watching.